After what has felt like a very long winter, spring has finally sprung. Good news for most people, but an abrupt change in seasons means a bumper crop of pollen in the air, and that's bad news for people who suffer from hay fever. Doctors advise people who are allergic to take preventative medicine and to make sure they always carry anti-inflammatory asthma drugs if needed. Dr. Eckhard Hamelman, a pediatric allergist, explains how to protect your environment from pollen. I advise you don't leave the windows open overnight. When you come home, take a shower and wash your hair and perhaps change your clothes so you can get the pollen out and create a pollen-free area at home, especially during the night. Allergies have been on the rise in the West over the past few decades. Increases in allergic asthma began in the 1960s, but developing countries have not seen this pattern. There's a so-called hygiene hypothesis which says an immune system that was not sufficiently trained during the early years has the effect that harmless substances in the environment or food are considered as something dangerous and will cause an allergic reaction. This theory also explains the lower incidence of hay fever and eczema in children from larger families. The use of antibacterial products has also been associated with a higher incidence of asthma.